Hey, what is going on guys? Monstep here. So today I am going to make like a making of of my um, remake of Back Again by Panda Eyes. And yeah, to be honest with you, uh, I'm not really happy with what I've done. I mean with the final result of the song of the remake. I could do it better, but I think I was kind of like excited to be back again. Well, that was intentional, but yeah, I was too excited and I just wanted to upload the video. Uh, in the middle of the song, like the square lead, I messed up the glide and also the second drop, uh, I'm not happy with it. But yeah, anyway, so I didn't record it the first few minutes, but don't worry, you didn't miss a lot of things. I was just um, searching for the right BPM and uh, synchronizing the song to the project. So whenever I start a remake, um, I prefer to start by making the chord progression first, since everything or pretty much everything will follow the same chord progression over and over. So yeah, I just picked up a random piano preset on, on Nexus, and this one sounds really close to the actual one on the song, but I'm not sure if he uses um, Nexus for the piano. Probably not, but yeah, anyway. So if I can give you like a quick tip for the chord progression, you can write down the melody or the root notes like I did right here. And then you can select everything and paste seven semitone up. And if you do that, it will always sounds good. And then after that, you can uh, work between the notes you already have. Okay, so let's just um, fast forward a little bit. So nothing really crazy is happening right now. I'm just recreating the chord progression. So it is what I have so far. So now it was time to add some strums. So the shortcut for the strum machine, I think it's Alt plus S. Now the post processing, so the first thing I do is gain staging, it's really important um, in a song, so I'm not pretending to be the best for that, but uh, there's plenty of ways to um, control the volume in FL Studio. The obvious ways are the faders of the mixer and the volume knob of the um, instrument or audio clip or sampler and I use this knob to uh, if you watch my peak meter I try to be something around minus 12 GB and then after where I will have more instrument I will reduce the fader of the piano to try to find a good spot uh, for the volume of each individual instrument I do that so I just added a quick uh, high pass compression some pretty normal um, post processing here and I try to keep really simple for everyone so that way everyone can use the project I try to um, use as many as FL Studio stock plugins for everyone the drums so I try to find uh, some good samples that matches the song the most and I read on the studio manual guide that there's a difference between loading your samples into the playlist and the pattern. If you load something into the pattern, a sample, it will open with a sampler and the difference between the sampler and the playlist is 
that the sampler will reduce uh, the volume of the sample by 55% I think to avoid clipping. Here I'm using some virtual riot uh, samples and I know that uh, they're really good and I don't really need to make the post-processing. So if you want to keep your sample as they were recorded, it's better to load them into the playlist instead of the sampler. As earlier, once again, gain staging. So I'm reducing the volume around minus 12 dB. And yeah, I don't really need to do so much for the post processing. Time now for the chord progression, so I just copy and paste the piano chord progression. The chopping chords is really also really important. So whenever you chop some chords, you need to reduce the notes a little bit more like I did right here. And it will just give uh, so much energy and some strength to your chord progression.
Now that I have uh, my charms and cut progression, I can now reduce the volume with the faders, like I said earlier, to kind of find the sweetest spot for every instrument because um, in a song you have some main instrument, some background noises, and they shouldn't have the same volume. For the bass, it's uh, the same thing, just copy and paste uh, the lowest notes. So I didn't know how he did the bass, he made the bass, I was just like messing around but the only thing I know was that I wanted something really growly.
so here because of uh, too much compression and distortion on my fat rack as you can see the faders doesn't really do anything when I'm reducing it so uh, what I do is that I usually consolidate uh, all my bases everything I put on my fat rack I just consolidate and that way I can change the volume of it You thought that I was done with the bass? Me too, but seems like not.
So we're almost at 30 minutes of video and that's already enough for my internet connection. And yeah, I will stop right there and I will see you into the next episode.